grinding pressure, the grinding force, the cutting speed. He can make small tools, he can grind uh, large tools, whatever he wants. So even if the build is not working properly due to an inconsistent quality, he changed the build and he continues. So it means variation in the tool life, in general bed life and work pieces can be absorbed, but he is very flexible. Nowadays you see more and more semi-automatic running lines, robot arms or semi-automatic machines. <coughs> It was the same process like before, now it is a semi-automatic process. So now we have defined grinding pressure, defined grinding forces, defined cutting speeds, defined tool specification and a defined tool size. Which means we have a higher productivity, but we have a lower flexibility. If we find a belt which is not working properly, it cannot replace so easily. То есть мы сейчас сталкиваемся с более высокой продуктивностью, но сниженной гибкостью. То есть у нас есть лента, которая не работает, ее уже нельзя так просто заменить. So that means there come new challenges to the market of coated abrasives. Define tool life, define process cycles. То есть на рынок абразивов с покрытием вышли новые требования, новые so the customer 
ask for an elongation of the processes. He's not willing to change the belts as often because it stops, uh, he, he doesn't like to stop so often. Uh, so therefore we developed a solution which is called three-dimensional grain. So one principle is called hermesit. And the other principle is called Mercovit. So here we show the construction of a holosphere called Hermesit. This is a holosphere ball which is covered with abrasive grain around. <coughs> This principle allows us to give a, a lifetime of four to six times in comparison to a standard belt. So you see we work in several layers or in several shifts from top to bottom and always fresh grain is in the process. Parallel, the RA value, the roughness value, is much more constant because you work in one process. Instead of here, working in four steps, you start with a fresh belt and you end up with a worn out belt. Параллельно у нас характеристика твердости всегда является одинаковой, потому что мы начинаем с новой ленты и мы заканчиваем уже с работой ленты. So the product benefit is even constant surface and three to five times longer to life in comparison to other grinding belts. And the holosphere board construction allows a much lower working temperature. <coughs> So for, for um, jobs needs to be done with high pressure, we develop the method. Also, this is not a holosphere ball. This is an agglomerate of different uh, grains. And you have a lot of grain working for one job, step by step by step. And every time you get new grain to the process without changing the belt. So these both principles from Hermesit and Mercury allow to grind a long job with only one belt. Furthermore, we have defined grinding pressure and defined grinding force. Also this, even uh, we need a certain kind of improvement in the packing, so we need to develop new packing materials. Uh, 
So the bed needs to be flexible, it needs to be tear resistant, but should be elastic, and the thickness can't be too thick. <coughs> So the robot cannot uh, adjust something, so it must be a good uh, setup for that. So therefore we developed a new packing material with a new material called Hermes Ceramid CR476J. So you see the varieties. So the belt should be flexible in the length direction. So he requires a high flexibility in the cross direction. So there is no worker involved anymore, so the robot requires a high elasticity. So many customers tear the belts by themselves. But the belt should not uh, tear in the cross direction. And the robot requires a low and constant thickness of the material. And therefore we developed a new backing material which I give around and you cannot tear them even if it's a very light one, very easy, but you cannot tear it in the cross direction. So all this application requires such a material, this is even we call it contour grinding, this is like uh, turbine blades. You see stainless steel parts like uh, surgical instruments. You see something from the implants like cobalt chrome, artificial knees. You see something like uh, artificial hip from titanium. Find a lot of uh, cutlery like knives, kitchen knives. You see the high alloy steel from the tool industry, like chrome vanadium. <coughs> Find something like a brass manufacturer, like water tubs. <coughs> So, here you see, this is a new development for the new material with all the applications, tear resistance, elasticity, flexibility, everything what should be in a certain kind of product. 
Here are the parameter flexibility. It's a high flexibility. It's a very high tear resistancy, but it's easy to cut to cut the belts by yourself. Elasticity, <coughs> elasticity, sorry, and uh, avoiding elongation. Uh, this, uh, we 